Hello, uh, welcome to another video of data science with Julia. So today we'll be looking at matrices. Like uh, last week I was practicing with about matrices with Julia. And uh, uh, if you look at this playlist before, like you would have seen, like uh, I would have written my own statistical functions and all those stuff. But matrices, I didn't want to do that. Because Julia seems to give very, very elegant stuff. And uh, that seems to be more elegant. Second thing is like, uh, but I don't say like, okay, what statistics provided in Julia is not elegant. But the thing is, I just felt right, felt like writing my own, so I just wrote my own. But matrices seems to be, uh, okay, like a um, bit more out of my reach. For example, like uh, finding inverse of a non-square matrix and all, like I haven't figured it out. Like uh, there is a thing called singular value decomposition and all those stuff. I need to read it, but... It's going to take very very long time so i just thought okay why can't we go with the way of julia and do it so yeah this is what i understood about matrices and how to manipulate or what to say like how to do matrix operations with julia seems to be very very fairly simple so if you can just look at my uh what to say uh, browser here so this is how you create a matrix like you just put a is equal to one two three and then uh, semicolon and then four five six that's it like that's how matrix gets created so like you will get like two into three matrix that is like two rows and it has three columns and if you put type of a so it will give matrix okay so that's the thing and yeah let me execute and show yeah type of a will be matrix okay and to take transpose it is just like a what to say apostrophe so the apostrophe symbol you have in your keyboard right so that's the thing like that's a transpose so let me just once again type it and do it yeah so that's it so easy like uh that's how it is but yeah transpose and only yeah, i can keep writing a function but just imagine just flipping this row to column and column to row so i just thought okay like let, let me use julia stuff itself right so then writing my own stuff okay so that's how it is and yeah next i have another matrices called b so that's how it is like this is also 2 by 3 matrix and if the matrices have same dimension like a is also 2 by 3 and b is also 2 by 3 we can just simply add it and that's been done using the plus sign and julia right and uh what to say like uh then yeah similarly the minus sign subtracts matrix so uh everything in b is like six uh what to say places ahead of a so if you just sub subtract it it'll just come minus six minus six minus six but you can't multiply like a star b because like uh okay for a matrix to get multiplied okay it should have dimensions like okay a should have a dimension like uh what to say it should have like uh m star k and that is like m into k and uh, b should have a dimension like k into m okay so n sorry like k, k into m right uh, so this is the dimension uh, this is the condition for multiplication and when you multiply you will get a matrices of matrix of dimension or to say m uh, into n right so this is what you'll get so uh, definitely like okay like uh, what to say like a's column it should be equal to the number of b's row. so that's not the case so when you multiply you will definitely get an error and that's what we get okay so that's how it is uh but yeah you can i think we can do element wise multiplication like a dot star b i'm not sure whether it will work out or not yes so that is working out so a is like what like one two three four five six and b is like seven eight nine so one into seven is seven and uh, 2 into 8 is 16 so that's what is happening over here so element wise we can do okay so that's how it is so that kind of multiplication we can do and yeah uh, that's how it is and yeah we have a, another matrices a is like 2 star 3 now we have uh, now we define a matrix c 3 star 2 so that is this is how the what to say uh, the rows are separated with a semicolon we separate rows with semicolon and we separate columns with space so that's how it is now we can do a star c because 2 into 3 and 3 into 2 so that will work okay so that's how it is and we just get a 2 into 3 3 into 2 so remove those 3 in the middle so you'll get 
2 into 2. So the, that's what we are just getting over here. So a 2 into 2 matrix. Okay, so that's how it is. And uh, I did C star A. And yeah, so. Okay. Uh, 2 into 3, 3 into 2. Okay, yeah. So yeah, so C is like, okay, like, uh, okay, like it is 3 into 2, okay, 3 into 2, okay, and A is what to say, like, uh, uh, okay, star 2 into 3, 2 into 3, 2 into 3, and so uh, you, you need to remove the middle 2s, okay, so you just need to remove the middle 2s. Okay, so this is what we need to remove, and we'll also remove this uh, x sign over here. So finally, we'll be getting three to three matrix. So that's what we are just getting when you put C star eight, right? So that's that's what we are just getting, right? And okay, so uh, I've uh, looked for what inverse sign is, and inverse we can even do it with matrix. That's what the documentation says. Like you can put question mark in your Jupyter or, uh, lab and put the name of the function or whatever it is you will get kind of help for it so that's how it is so here if you just look like for mattress they would have said okay so now i have put like okay uh, d is equal to c star a and inverse of d and you get something weird okay so and d into inverse of d is not coming like identity matrix like uh, it should be identity matrix right so uh, I was just wondering why it's not coming. Okay, so like, uh, let me just explain why. Okay, so uh, I have imported linear algebra package of Julia. Oh, here you can find the determinant of matrix and all those stuff. If you find determinant of matrix, okay, I'll just do all these operations. Okay, D inverse. Uh, using linear algebra. Okay. If I find this determinant of A, like it's, uh, sorry, determinant of D, it's very, very less, almost equal to zero. So what is like something power to the 10 to the power of minus 14? It is zero, right? So like almost very, very less or zero. Okay, so if you get determinant of a matrix as zero, you can't get inverse of it. So that's the thing, right? So uh, that's the moral of the story. So before finding inverse, try to find determinant if it's very, very less. No, no use even thinking about inverse okay so that's the thing but yeah you can get inverse of matrices whose inverse could be found that is over here the determinant is not zero like for e the determinant was is not equal to zero so you can get inverse of e okay so it is one one and almost zero over here in this element and it is zero so that's how it is so actually you can put like okay like i'll just put in another thing like uh, okay now yeah, yeah, so that's what, sorry, I did it like E star inverse of, yeah, sure. So, yeah, that's almost like uh, this is how it is. And yeah, like, uh, uh, I'll just put determinant of E and show it. Determinant of E, so, uh, what to say. And it is minus 2, uh, like, it's not very, 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 very less number that we can say it as 0. It is minus two, fairly greater number. Even if it's in the negative side, it's fairly greater than number. So you can find inverse, and you will get some identity matrix. Okay, so that's how it is. And yeah, so once again, I'm just putting a and inverse of a. Look, inverse and all you can find only uh, what to say like for square matrix. Okay, so uh, that's the thing. And why I'm getting uh, this is not defined okay so inverse of a i am uh, getting is not defined okay so uh, p inverse of a it should work because i think i imported linear algebra package okay so it should work okay so that's it. so i don't know why I, uh, if, okay so i'll just remove this one this is the original one so yeah so it is there right so p inverse is called as pseudo inverse of matrix or penrose and moore inverse okay uh it's for this only i need to understand singular value decomposition and all those things and i didn't uh, uh, uh i didn't get it so like uh, pseudo inverse matrix okay so there are uh, 
literatures for this but i didn't get it like uh, uh okay uh singular value decomposition so i need to learn this so okay <laughs> very good it's not there but yeah like uh, there is a very good youtube channel like it's called right to trick okay so youtube and there is a channel called right to trick right to trick and his videos are really really good i don't know why possibly he is also indian i am also indian that's why i'm Hello, understanding wait. or i i am not sure okay so he has explained but i found that video to be much more understandable and all those stuff right but yeah this is how like even if you can't get an inverse of non-square matrix you can use p inverse and it will return something and uh, even if you multiply a and p inverse of a you will get something like an identity matrix something you say this is identity matrix what is e power minus 16 like it's almost zero like uh, it is zero like and over here also like something possible to the power of minus 16 zero like it is zero right and uh, i did even uh, d and uh, inverse of d but i didn't get it that's because the determinant of d is uh, what to say zero so yeah if you don't remember let me just uh, show you okay so look it's almost zero right so that's how it is so if the determinant zero even p inverse won't work and even if it works if you do like matrix multiplied by p inverse of that matrix if the determinant is zero it won't uh what is it work okay so that's how it is uh and then yeah so uh yeah i'm just finding determinant of e for some other reason okay and uh okay uh i'm just defining a two by two matrix over so here b is also two by two matrix and what i'm just doing is a by b because why i'm just defining two by two and doing this is like i want to make sure that okay like uh <laughs> these determinants are not zero okay so uh a by b gives some value okay and we can even do it like a inverse of b okay so uh a star inverse of b. okay so that is almost that is equal to a by b okay so that's how it is and uh, we can also use this thing a star p inverse of p so that will also give like uh, a same value of a by b so that's how it is p inverse is kind of safe like if you don't know the matrix dimensions and all those things so why i'm doing about matrices is because like we've been doing a lot of neural networks in the future uh, in this very uh, playlist and uh, so uh, for neural networks matrices are very important so actually i should be writing all these functions just as i did for statistics but either i am lazy i didn't understand the single value decomposition or whatever it is so i'm just doing a video on matrix operation with julia so that's the thing the only thing what i didn't understand is how to find this thing like uh, pseudo inverse or it's also called as penrose more inverse okay so that's how uh, it has been called uh so yeah these are the matrix operations in julia i hope yeah this video was uh, uh good to you and you people understood it and yeah i'll be putting the link for this video and all those things in the video uh, in the description so yeah do subscribe and uh, like this video if you found it useful and yeah i'll be going to another topics and, uh, uh yeah that's it from me have a nice day bye